Thanks for logging on to InsidePunch.com. I'm Kimberly Sargent, joined here by Jose Santiago for the Future Series Part 2. Tonight, children from ages 8 to 18 are battling it out in the ring for a great cause, the fight against leukemia. Let's catch up with some of the guys that made this happen. Joined here with Paul The Truth Delgado. I'm so excited to be a part of this event. Talk to me about it. I'm excited myself. I don't know how this all came about, but it came about and it's looking good and I'm excited. I can't wait to see what happens, but I'll tell you what, um, during the intermission we're going to be uh, definitely uh, presenting some awards to two young men and this is what it's all about. It's about them and the fight that they're going through and the fight that fighters go through as fighters on a day-to-day -day basis and this is the fight for leukemia and uh, it's going to be a great event. Looking forward to it. So obviously there are tons of different organizations and causes out there that everybody tries to get involved with. What hit home to you or how did you decide to get involved with the leukemia? Well, what happened was uh, me and my trainer, Jesse. Jesse, he normally comes down from North Carolina. He stays with me at the house. So we're always talking boxing, especially during training camp. We sit around the table after going from the gym and just start talking about boxing. We was talking about the first Future Series. We was planning it. It was coming up September 10th. And then uh, he said, he see, and one of my clients, uh, Jerry Goklang, more than just a client, he's a personal great friend now. And uh, I've known him for about two years now. And his son, him being a cancer doctor, I found out his son was battling leukemia, only nine years old. And Jesse was like Paul we need to do something about that and um, maybe we could present him a special award or something during the intermission of the first future series so that's kind of how the idea came about we was going to present him an award but because he was going through leukemia his was a was a rare bad major form I don't quite understand it quite yet but we'll be talking about it during the intermission and um, but when he came up with that I said I said why don't, why don't we just do a whole show just to just to just to fight this whole thing off since he's battling it, he's fighting it you know I went and visited him in the hospital and and he told me he wanted to learn how to fight because he wants to beat up this leukemia so his dad has been talking to him and letting him know how how important for him to continue to fight and throw the one two and so I presented him with some gloves at the, at the hospital and he started punching and so I was I was excited and enthused I was like you know what even though I got a fight coming up in December I was like I'm gonna put everything aside for a minute and just focus on this and knock this one out the park you're doing such a great thing. You did touch on that fight coming up December the 2nd. Right. I'm excited. I know you're yeah. excited. I've seen yeah. you training. What is in your head about that fight? I'm excited. It's like it's like this is a new start for me. You know, this is this is the final chapter. Let's say, you know, um, you know, after that Georgia Fighters uh, ceremony last week, and I was awarded with the 14, Fans 14 Choice Hall, Hall of Hall of Fame. Most importantly, I was like, gosh, all right, it's time to get out. You better so, show up. <laughs> so I'm showing up December second, put on a great show before I finish. Well, before I let you go, I I personally do train with you, so obviously I get to see you doing different things but I saw you with oxy water a new brand that obviously I've become a, an amazing part of but you're using it I've seen it there's pictures everywhere tell right. me what it's doing for your workouts you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling definitely refreshed. I'll tell you what, I'm not cramping. I normally do start cramping when I start dropping in the 160 range. And right now, I'm I'm pretty. I'm only walking around like nine pounds over right now. And and with that oxy water, it's keeping me refreshed. I'm not putting on a whole lot of water weight. It's coming off, and I'm not cramping. So so far, so good. Well, best of luck. We are looking for that W December the second. Thank you. We'll see you then. Standing here with Lisa Hudson Webb, manager of so many talented people out there. What's your involvement with this event tonight? Well, actually, I started working with Paul, I guess, about maybe three or four months ago. Uh, I started out working with Striker Fight Center, and I met Nathan Lievermento through there. And so that's how I got connected with Paul here. So I'm working with Paul at this point. And so we put on this fight tonight for the fight for the Battle of Leukemia. And we had two of the young boys here this evening that we... Uh, that we actually represented and we had Oxy here that you're doing now congratulations and we had a lot of people come in uh, Max Muscle also came in and did sponsor for us we had Champion C9 come in um, the Flake Productions was here did, did the intermission so well I know you mentioned Paul a little bit what are you doing to help him get ready for this fight on December 2nd for December 2nd, well, actually, we were definitely glad to get this event behind us tonight. We've worked really hard for it, and we appreciate all the people that came out for it. 
Um, right now, Paul's going to be focusing on training for the next several weeks. Um, we're looking for some of the sponsors that we had also at the event tonight. He's going to be fighting um, Ruben Galvin, and this is going to be Paul's third title fight this year, so it's going to be a huge event for us at the Big Rock Out. And we also have three other pro fighters on the card that night as well. So who else do you have? I know, like you just said, you're, there's three other guys that you're working with. I know you work with a bunch of people throughout the whole nation. Who else is on that card that you're working with? For that night, we've got Asani and Adonis and uh, Smiley Mike. Uh, everybody might remember Smiley Mike from the last event. So we've got those three fighters as well as Paul. And who else are you working with MMA-wise? I know this is a huge MMA show as well. Um, who have you been working with with that? Uh, I've worked with some of the striker fighters, as you know, Jerry Tenna, and I work with their amateurs as well, but that's just kind of doing the same thing for them as I do with the other guys. I work for a couple of guys out, uh, out of Albuquerque, New Mexico at the Jackson's Gym. I worked a little bit with Mike Wessel, uh, he's one of the tough 10 finalists, uh, Justin Wren, Hapiello Oliveira, um, and that was when I worked with another company before I started my own. Well, that is awesome. People out there, I'm sure, are wondering, how do you get managed? You know, what are the steps to find a manager of your caliber? So how do people get in contact with you to look for possibilities in you managing them? Uh, actually, one of the best ways is just by recommendation. I mean, and I've been very fortunate to work with a lot of good people recently, and that's how I kind of got mixed in with Paul Delgado and the Striker Fight Center. Um, definitely look me up on Facebook. Um, uh, talk to some of the guys that I've interviewed from Striker Fight Center, or that you've interviewed as well as, as me. <laughs> Uh, from uh, Striker Fight Center, Paul Delgado, uh, Mazurian Management is my company, and I can be reached at mazurian180 at gmail.com. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for your time. For Lisa Hudson-Webb, I'm Kimberly Sargent with Jose Santiago here at the Delgado Boxing Event.